What's going on guys? Derek here from OldSchoolStereo.com. I was recently contacted by this guy, Jason Neal, and he had an amp that he wanted to send me. So he sent it over. I was like, sure, go ahead. And he just kind of donated this. It did need some work, but I didn't know much about these particular amps. It is an earthquake, and here it is, and it's right around the year 2000-2001. It's the PHD2. And it's also known as the Shredder. Here you can see Powerhouse D2. There's the outside. Let's take a closer look at the 2003 Orion Blue Books. We can find out more about this amp. Shows 2001. Retail $1,098. 1,300 watts by one. I did some research and found that the February 1999 version of Car Audio and Electronics actually tested the 200 DHC, which I think is considered the same amp as this one. You see it did 780 watts at 4 ohms, 1600 at 2 ohms. It's very weird of the distortion and all that stuff. Now, the Wayback Machine says 1150 by 1 at 4 ohms and 2000 by 1 at 2 ohms. And this is the Earthquake Sound Sight. They call this the Shredder, the first amp to hit 170 dB. And you can see here they talk about it and say it's 87% efficient, all that good stuff, and that is the review that I just showed you. Here's a closer look at the amp. It has four gauge power and ground inputs. You can also use reducers. It looks big here, you can't really tell what that is, four gauge. And then on the opposite side we have the speaker outputs. It only has single outputs. It has a 20 hertz to 200 hertz crossover, 24 dB per octave. Gain control, RCAs, power and protect LEDs. And that's about it. Pretty basic looking on the outside. The amp is very heavy. It's around 20 pounds or so. And here are the dimensions, about 11.6 inches by 10 inches. And the millimeter equivalents there as well. Now if you include the terminals and everything that stick out, it's about 13 inches or so in length. And then for the thickness, it's about 2.4 inches or 61 millimeters. Now we're going to show you the guts, but sorry, that'll be later. <laughs> now let's fire up the good old Amp Dyno so we can do the RMS power test of this 20-year-old amplifier. Find out what it does. First up, we're going to try the 4-ohm test according to the Earthquake Sound site, rated 1150 watts at 4 ohms. Certified test takes us up to 1% THD. Uh, yeah, we didn't get anywhere close. 786 watts at 14.62. Next up, uncertified. Takes us up to the clipping point. Yeah, still not there. Where's the beef? Yeah, so now let's try dynamic and see what the dynamic pulse does for the amp. And... Just as we figured, it's not going to even do over a thousand watts. 847 watts, 14.56 volts, rated 1150, so nowhere near that. Now let's move on to the 2 ohm test where it's rated 2000 watts. Let's find out how it does. First off, certified. Now what you'll notice here is the distortion light is on the whole time. That means the amp is not counting up cleanly. You do see the 1378, but we're not going to count that because it doesn't actually count up cleanly. So on the uncertified test, you will see it count up cleanly here using the 40 hertz test. But yeah, 1527 watts. Yep, smack that bald head. <laughs> smack Earthquake's bald head for these false ratings, making me mad. Anyway, dynamic power. Still around the 1500, almost 1600 watts, 1586, right at 14 volts, 1587 there at the end. Now I let Jason know about these results. I'm like, hey dude, were these things like modified somehow? There's something wrong? Does it need to be loaded down a little lower? And he's like, well, I did use them at 0.7 and I used them on 16 volt batteries. So I was like, well, if he used them at 0.7, we're gonna try the one ohm test. That's right, it's not rated for one ohm. Unfortunately, I can't do the 16 volt test as I have 14 volt batteries. But anyway, let's try certified. As you can see, the distortion light stays on again. So we're not really going to count this test because it did not count up cleanly. However, on the uncertified test, it does count up cleanly. Check this out. Yeah, boy, 24, 20 watts at 13.35. Yeah, boy. 
There you go, now we're talking some power. So dynamic burst, again, gives the dynamic capability of the amp to see how it handles transients. And you can see 2,700 watts, 14.72. And here are all the results. You can see a couple of the tests that did not run. We call that did not run because it did not count cleanly. These are old class D amps, and some of these are just what you call dirty power, so they don't run well at 1% THD. You can also see the data chart there comparing what the magazine got, they got 1600 watts, I got 1527, that's pretty close. So when I got the amp in, Jason told me that one of the caps had actually popped off. And you can see here, it's one of the rail caps here in my hands. <laughs> that's right, this thing's popping caps. Uh, anyway, here it is, it's a 100 volt, 470 microfarad cap. So once I noticed that that happened, I was like, you know what? I need to send this off and get it repaired get it recapped and have it looked at. So I did that, I sent it off and you can see here on the circuit board where it actually popped off. But uh, I did send it off and I'm gonna show you here in just a minute when I reopen the amp and have all the new capacitors in there. Everything looks much better. Now let's take the bottom panel off and show you this beautiful bean footage. <laughs> here is the amp after it was recapped and has much better capacitors here. They actually upgraded on the input filtering and also on the rails. I'm gonna show you a closer picture here. Uh, the input filtering caps, 25 volt, 6800 microfarad. So we quietly up those quite a bit. And on the rails, 100 volt, 680 microfarad. And those are Nichicons, which are nice. There's the one that popped off again, just to remind you, 100 volt, 470 microfarad. So the amp was, um, Definitely redone and, and souped up a little bit, but uh, unfortunately it still didn't do quite its power, but it did do some power at one ohm, so I was pretty impressed with that. So I hope you guys appreciated this little quick midweek amp dyno test. As always, I appreciate you commenting, liking, and subscribing to my channel if you like this content. A special thanks goes out to Travis, Stuart, Jesus, Jason, Big D, I'm out of here! Garage. Perfect.